Hello everybody, this is Leslie, and a while back, I think it was about six months ago, I had made a tutorial on how to make um, glycine bags. So if you haven't already checked that video out, I do have it in one of my playlists. I think it's in, under my DIY playlist. Um, it's one of my most successful videos. I have over 5,000 views on it. So I must be doing something right. Um, I was looking to see about if I could find videos that showed how to decorate glassine bags. I didn't see a whole lot out there so I decided I was going to do a quick video to show you how to decorate your glassine bags once you make them. Now as I've said in my other video you can make them any size that you want. I made them bigger just because we're going to be decorating them. So, this is the size that I made. As you can see, I made it out of parchment paper. So, go check out my other video. And this one is a measurement of almost six, six, six inches wide by five inches tall. But, like I said, you can make them any size you want, but you're going to just take a glassine bag and you're going to decorate the front of it. Now, it depends on whether or not you want to fold over your edge, what you want to do, if you just want to leave it flat. I'm going to show you quickly two that I already made. This is one so far that I've made. This one is to stay open. Basically, all I did was I took a napkin ribbon that I just purchased yesterday from um, Michaels and stickers from a sticker from the Dollar Tree and this was a sticker that I had purchased from AC Moore quite a while so it was in my stash and I stuck a little bead on it and that's all it is and then you can put whatever you want into it but it's it's decorated beautifully so there's one now the other thing too is you can use memento ink and a stamp and you can stamp on these but you need to use gesso that's why I purchased the gesso yesterday this is the clear transparent gesso and it's by Finabair F-I-N-N-A-B-A-I-R Art Basics and it's the clear and transparent one okay I am going to quickly show you how to do that and I'm rushing because I can only do 15 minutes so if I think I'm going to go over 15 minutes I'm going to have to do two separate videos so I'm trying to get this all in one video but this is the one I created with the stamp I took my stamp after I gessoed it you wait for it to dry and you stamp it you let it dry and then I took stickles and stickled the um, actual swans themselves in the clear and I did some silver down on the bottom for the water and I took another stamp or um, not a stamp but a sticker from I hope you can see that it's probably washed out from Dollar Tree and or actually no this wasn't from Dollar Tree it was from Michaels um, but it's a wedding for a wedding and I just put I folded it over punched some holes I was gonna put ribbon through it but I was having too many issues so I just actually put some ribbon right across the top but if you are planning a wedding these would be perfect for a bridal shower baby shower anything and then you could put little gifts inside depending upon what you want to give but I think it's something very easy that anybody can do get a bunch of people together and you can make a bunch of these at a, at a time okay so I'm going to quickly show you how to gesso so we're going to gesso this one and I use my scraps and I fit that right in here and I did cut it so I know it fits okay and I do that because I don't want to close it shut so what I'm going to do and I always keep my brushes 
in water next to me so that they don't dry out. I just dry it off a little bit. And this comes out very, very quickly, I found out. So I'm just going to pour a little bit on. You don't need a lot. And you're just going to gesso this whole entire thing. It's going to look funny because it's going to like buckle up. And I promise it'll be fine once you're done. But you would just want to make sure you get all the gesso on. And the reason why you're using gesso is because you need the tooth. They call it the tooth. It's the same thing as when you use acrylic paint on projects and you want to use color pencil. Because on certain projects, if you try to use color pencil, it won't go on because there's nothing for it to grab hold of. And that's it. That's all you do. You put a, a small layer of gesso on it. You let it dry. Now that's the reason why I put this here because then I have something to not only hold on to, but it will um, keep it from sticking. But see how it kind of buckles and it kind of looks like fabric, actually, like if that was elastic. But it does come perfectly straight because as you see, this one is perfectly straight. There's no buckling, no nothing. And that one was gessoed. So we're going to move this off to the side and let that dry. We are going to quickly work on, I already designed one that I wanted to make real fast. Um, but I'm going to show you what I did. I took stickers from um, yesterday that I purchased from Michaels. These are the Easter ones. So I cut them into little pieces and that's how I design. I cut the stickers into pieces on the clear film and I move them around. And this was actually a sticker, but I like it the way it looks on here. So I cut it into this shape as like a banner. So I'm just not removing the sticker. And then again, I cut out some lace from yesterday that I purchased. As you can see, this was a napkin and all I did was cut it down and I will show you. This is the napkin and I separated it and I don't know where the other, oh, I cut this part off and I used this part and then what I'm doing is I took the paper from yesterday and I decoupaged with the gloss this part down to pink paper because then that is going to go as like a fence. It's going to look like a fence when it's done. So I'm going to wait for that to finish drying and then as soon as that's done I'll be back and we'll quickly show you how to put this together. Hi guys, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this video here and I'm going to do two parts so that we have enough time to actually decorate this one. I don't want to rush through it. So I showed you everything so far and then hopefully by that time then the gesso will be dried and I can show you how to stamp. If I have to do three parts, I will do three parts. But um, as of right now, I think I'm going to make this part one and then we'll do part two and see if we need a part three, okay? So thank you all for stopping by and I'll see you on my next video. Take care everybody.